Hi guys, welcome to this reading class. Um, I can see that some of you have made reservations, which is awesome. If you have made a reservation, then you should be joining now um, or in the first two minutes because after that you lose your reservation and other students can join. Okay, so let's see, who do we have in class with us? Oh, we have someone in class with us, but his name is not in English. It's in Mandarin. Mandarin or Cantonese? Hi. 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 How are you? I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> what's your What's your name? It's written in Chinese. I can't read it. <laughs> uh, I'm. Uh, my name is Zhong He. Zhong He. Uh, right. Ju just call me Zhong. Zhong. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Zhong. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Korea. You're from Korea. Awesome. Yeah. So is that is that Korean? Yeah, I'm Korean. Uh, ah. So where are you from? Seoul. And um, that is Seoul. Yeah, Seoul is capital. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm living in Gwangju. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I know Incheon as well. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. So, how did you how did you find out about Verbling? Uh, I I'm just two year or uh, two weeks ago. I I hear hear that by a TV program. Oh right, yeah. yeah. It was um it was on a really popular Korean TV TV yeah. channel. Right, yeah. I remember. So, <laughs> how long how long have you been using it? <laughs> this time is second time. <laughs> oh, is this your second time? When yeah. was when did you start? When was your first time on it? Uh, about three days ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Who was the Who was your teacher? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, just the man. Uh, the teacher name is uh. Chad. Ch yeah, yeah. Chad. Chad. Chad Hansen. Chad Hansen. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah right. He teaches a lot, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. So if it, if nobody else joins this class, Jong, it's just yeah. gonna be you and me. <laughs> wow, <Well>, it's good. <laughs> it's like targeted, targeted. <laughs> so Thank how do you? you? You're welcome. How do you yeah. like it so far? Uh, what then? How do you like verbling so far? What do you think of it? Mm, it's cool, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And are there? Do you do you know if there are a lot of Korean people who are on the website? Uh, I don't. I don't. Never seen. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I guess after that, the 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 TV on the yeah. news. I think yeah. there'll be like lots more who join. Mm. Uh, yesterday I recommended my. My recommend this bubbling to my mm -hmm. uh, friend. <laughs> to your friend. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> no. So I hope to see your friend as well. I hope yeah, to okay. see a Korean and I want him to say, I came here because Jong told me. <laughs> 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 that would be cool. That would be super I, cool. I hope that uh, the uh, listen to the study to, together with my uh, then. Oh right, yeah, yeah, mm. definitely. Um, you can step if you if you suggest verbling to your yeah. friends, yeah. then you get you get more tickets to join yeah. classes. I know one hour. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. One hour free ticket. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, free tickets, invite more people. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This so this class. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll just. I guess I'll. Uh, I guess I'll just begin. So this class is meant to be a reading class, all right? So we are going mm -hmm. to be reading an article that mm -hmm. I found on Huffington Post. Have you heard of that, Huffington Post? I I don't never heard. That that's okay. Huffington Post is uh, is an online like newspaper 
and it's very mm. popular in Canada. That's where I live. I'm from Canada. Just so online you know. newspaper? It's an online newspaper. Yeah, like the, a newspaper. The name of the newspaper? Is Huffington Post. Huffington Post. Oh, okay. I wrote it in the chat. I wrote it in Burbling chat. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So today we're reading an article, uh, and it's about education. It's about mm -hmm. how um, how well students are doing in the education system in Canada and in the mm -hmm. United States. Mm -hmm. So, do you know what it's like in Korea? Like, do you know mm -hmm. what the state of education is like? Like, are students doing really well? Are they doing really poorly? Like, mm. what's going on? Do you know? Mm. I know. Um, but yeah. I don't know what, what is the difference of, uh, between the Korean and um, Canada. I don't know. Uh, okay, yeah. Well, mm. there's uh, standardized tests. Do you know what a standardized test is? Standard test? Standard Stand test? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, D A R, standardized test. Okay, let me see. So, do you know what? Do you know what the TOEFL is? TOEFL. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So TOEFL uh, is a standardized test. So mm. a standardized test is like a test that is equal. Like everybody mm. takes it and everybody is like graded mm. equally. Okay. So I TOEFL or IELTS. Uh, I got it. Uh, yeah. Korean also have like uh, standardized test. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So so yeah. So in our article, we're going to be reading how students performed on a standardized test. Okay. Mm -hmm. So like all the students in America, how did they do on this test? And mm -hmm. is education getting better or getting worse in the United States? Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to be reading today. Does that mm -hmm. sound interesting? Uh, that is. Interesting. Awesome. So <laughs> we also have Adriana. Hi, Adriana. Hello. You look like you look like such a beautiful silhouette. <laughs> <laughs> that, there's like a light on your head. I forgot like, to turn. Uh, it's like uh, like I'm I am a an angel. You're an angel, exactly. There's like a halo. So that's. If you guys didn't know, what angels have on their head is a halo. The Beyonce song, halo, halo. <laughs> <laughs> so there, so Adriana has a, oh, actually, John, if you yeah. move a little, if you move a little, then you have a halo on your head. There we go. Okay. John has a halo on his head as well. So we mm. have two angels in class with us, and we also have <laughs> Olga. Hey, Olga. Hello, teacher. Welcome back, Olga. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to have you join me once again. This is Olga's <laughs> third class. Three <laughs> out of three with me today. Yes. She's on a roll. Okay. <laughs> so, if anybody, if there are students who are watching, you guys are more than welcome to join class as well. Okay? There's lots of spots. Um, if not, then I'm just going to... I'm just going to have an awesome time with Jong, Adriana, and, and Olga. You guys are going to miss out. <laughs> Sorry. And just so you guys know, his name is Jong, okay? Jong. Because <laughs> your name is in Korean, so I don't know. If somebody wants to talk to you, they'll be like, uh, the guy, the, 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 the guy. So I don't want them saying that. So his name is Jong, guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Olga and Adriana, I was just telling John that we are going to be reading an article from a newspaper that we have in Canada. It's called the Huffington Post. And uh, we're going to be reading about how test scores have changed in the United States for students in high school and younger. So standardized testing like TOEFL and IELTS. So have students gotten better or gotten worse? So are schools doing a good enough job or not? So that's, that's what we're going to be reading about in our article. Olga, does that sound interesting to you? Yeah. Yes? yes? Yeah. I feel like articles on education are pretty interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys the article. Just give me a minute. All righty. So 
there. That's the link to the article. So if okay. you guys if you guys want to click on it and open it. Yeah. So you can see so this like I said this is a reading class. So we're going to be reading the article and then we're going to be talking about it. Okay, so we're going to discuss what it says. There are uh, words and expressions that I have underlined that uh, that we're going to discuss as well. So um, if there's any and if there's anything that you guys don't understand, anything that we're saying, anything that is written, do not be afraid to to stop and ask me. Okay, uh, unless more students join, it's you guys and me. So don't be afraid to to stop me and ask me questions. All right. Okay. All right. So uh, our article, our article is called "Test Scores Show Achievement Gap Narrows as High School Students Stagnate." All right. Uh, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my screen so you all will be seeing what I'm worth. What's on the screen? But don't worry about reading my screen. Just just look at it from your own computers. I'm just sharing it so everybody knows where we are. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. So, look at that. So many people are watching. All those who are watching, join class. Come on. <laughs> Hi, Denise. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, test scores show We're not, achievement uh, gap narrows. We're not used to classes. <laughs> yeah? Used to being in classes. Oh, what did you say, Adriana? Oh, oh, um, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Don't listen. To me. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, test scores show achievement gap. So achievement gap. So what are students achieving? The achievement gap narrows. What does that mean? Who knows what it means to narrow? To narrow. Um, to to, to short, yeah. shorten something? To, to short, sh shorten, exactly. We mm. usually use it like a narrow road, okay? Narrow. Like when you're driving on a road, a narrow road. So when you talk about narrow like this, then it means that the achievement gap has become shorter. So, mm. uh, so high school, uh, the achievement gap, so students are getting better at school, but high school students are stagnating. Stagnate, okay? I stagnate. So that's our verb. What do you think stagnate means? Um, deep. Hmm? Okay. Stagnate means stop developing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So stop. So for example, construction has stagnated. All right. So construction on the new building has stagnated, meaning construction has stopped developing. It has stopped altogether. So, stop. yeah, stop. So basically, uh, to stop growing is I would say. Okay. So stop developing. Okay. So this is this is interesting because the achievement gap has become smaller. But then, why are high school students not growing? Why are they not developing? Okay. So that's what we're going to read. That's what the article addresses, right? So let's get started. So let's get Olga. Can you can you read this? Yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Can, can you read this much for us, please? Uh, yes, just a minute, please. Um, that's okay. Take your despite, time. Despite okay, mm -hmm. despite the popular hand ring, ringing, 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 mm -hmm. ringing over American schools, Jones Americas. America's America. schools, yeah. America's schools, younger students are actually performing and at significantly higher levels in reading and math, and math than they were in the 1970s, according to a new government report released Thursday. The report yeah. also shows a dramatic gradual reduction. Gradual. Also, gradual. 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 Mm -hmm. Sorry? gradual. Yeah gradual reduction of the so-called achievement gap, the gap between the scores of ethnic minorities. Ethnic minorities, perfect. So okay. yeah, so that word is, okay, so the D is pronounced like a G or a J, a dramatic gradual reduction. So we don't pronounce the D like a D, it's more like a J, J sound, okay? 
Perfect. So uh, despite the popular hand ringing, all right? So the W is almost silent. So it's actually ringing like the ringing of a bell. What do you guys think hand ringing is? I know mm. like ring is to twist, but yes. I don't know what is uh, the uh, hand her? ringing. Yeah. John, do you have something? What do you think it is? Uh, trembling handle. Trembling. That's a good. That's yeah. a good word. Okay, trembling. Hand ringing. All right. This is hand ringing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Trembling is, for example, when it's really cold and you're like, "Oh my God, I'm so cold." Oh. Okay. That's that's trembling, shivering. Okay. Hand ringing. This is hand wringing, and this is what people do when they are really stressed. Okay, mm. so I don't know if you guys know, but in recent years, it's been discovered that in America, the education level has been going down. So students are uh, not developing at the level they're supposed to. So what this article is saying is that there has been a lot of hand wringing. So because a lot of people are aware, like, oh my God. Our kids are dumb, basically. <laughs> basically, that's what it means. Like, okay. So hand wringing is the moving of your hands or clasping or squeezing your hands because of stress. Okay. Mm -hmm. So a lot of you, if you do this when you're stressed, oh my god, I'm scared. That's hand wringing. Okay. So uh, article starts off by saying that even though Americans are really worried that that they are that their education system is not is not that good anymore is not growing the younger students so people who are uh, you know in middle school or in elementary school they are actually performing at significantly what does significantly mean it's another word for significantly Olga do you know that it's an uh, important amount yes a notable or an important amount so the younger students are actually uh, performing much, much higher in reading, in reading and math than they were in the 1970s. Okay, so uh, even though we say American education is going down, it's not really true because the younger students are actually getting really good. Okay, the report shows a dramatic, so a pretty, a pretty huge gradual reduction. What does gradual mean? Step by step. Uh, like suddenly, faster. Gradual yeah. actually means the opposite of that. Gradual means slowly. Slowly. Yes, exactly. So gradual. So when something is happen gra happening gradually, it is happening regularly, but not at a very fast amount. Okay. Uh, if you so Adriana, what you wanted to say would be exponential. Exponential. If, if it said an exponential reduction, that would mean a really big, really mm. fast reduction. But a gradual reduction is slowly. Okay? So the report has shown that there is a gradual reduction. So reduction means to get lesser, to reduce. It's exponential. Yes. So there's been a gradual reduction of the so-called achievement gap. The gap between scores of ethnic minorities. What is an ethnic minority? I don't know. No? Adriana, what's an ethnic minority? I don't know how to explain it. But okay, if, I do know what it is. It's for example here in Mexico we have like the local natives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So for example, John, if I yeah. came if I came to Korea and yeah. I started living there. All mm. right. I would yeah. be. I would be a, a minority. A minority. Okay. Minority. Yeah. Is small. Small. People? Population. A small population. Po exactly. Small population. An ethnic minority is a group of people. For example. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, Indians. Indians mm -hmm. would be an ethnic and minority. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, okay. for example, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say. Yeah, I got it. Ethnic my my minority is uh, India. In like, for example, India, right? Right. Indians. Yeah. For example, yeah. Indians living in Korea. There's mm -hmm. not a lot of them, right? There's a mm -hmm. few Indians who live in Korea, or they are not as much as actual Korean people. 
Okay? Mm -hmm. So, for example, Adriana just said the natives in Mexico, they are a minority. They are not a very big population. So an ethnic minority is a specific group of people who are not in a very high population in a certain area. So mm -hmm. this so this report that we are reading about says that the achievement gap has lowered between ethnic minorities. So the students who are in minority in the United States are are not are not performing at a very low level. Okay, they are moving higher up. They are getting in essence they are getting smarter and they are getting better at education. At, at their education. Olga, do you understand what's going on? What we're talking about? Yeah. Yeah? Are there yes. any are there any ethnic minorities in Colombia? Yeah, several. Yeah. Uh, one uh, for example the Aragua. Mm -hmm. Um and in the the I don't know how to say in English, the Departamento mm -hmm. of yeah. Choco. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, yes. and what, what about Jong? What about in Korea? Who are, what, what are the ethnic minorities in Korea? Uh, Korea don't have uh, just, a, just one ethnic. Ethnicity. Have, one yeah, ethnicity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So, we don't have ethnic minority, don't have. Oh, okay. Like, for example, in Canada? Where I yeah. live, a lot yeah. of ethnic mi Indians are a big ethnic minority. There's mm. there's a there's an eth there's an Indian population. Chinese, there is a huge uh, Chinese minority population. Okay, so they're minorities because they are not the dominant group. They're not like, for example, in Canada, the the dominant group are Caucasians, are white people. So uh, all other all other groups are minorities. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. So that's what we're reading about. So the ethnic minority population, their test scores are getting much, much better, right? Uh, so let's get Adriana. Can I get you to read the uh, the next paragraph? Which which one? For the findings. But the mm -hmm. but the yep, findings the aren't all mm -hmm. positive. Since two thousand and eight, only thirteen year olds posted score increases. The overall results illustrate two fundamental problems. It's easier to boost scores in math than that, is, that is in reading and the test scores of older students have not increased. Okay, so do you guys think math is easier than reading? And reading is specifically reading in English. Do you guys think that it's easier to get higher scores in math than in English? Yes. <laughs> yes? Okay. Adriana says yes. Olga, what do you think? No. No? Okay. And Jong, what about you? No. Math no? is so difficult. Math is difficult? Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> yeah. I think the same. <laughs> I think math is really hard. <laughs> but don't let me bias you. So yeah. So the findings aren't all positive. So one negative thing is that since 2008, only 13 year old students they have increased right the overall results illustrate what does illustrate mean mm. illustrate what like what? give an example show. yeah show show, show. show. Um. exactly mm -hmm. so the overall results show two fundamental problems what is fundamental mine mine what is uh, fundamental. Fundamental, like basic. Mm -hmm. For example, water, no, the right to education is a fundamental right. Okay? It is a basic right. Everybody should have the right to education. Okay? Fundamental is something that is core. Core. Mm -hmm. Okay? Something that is core, something that is necessary, something that is basic. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right? Let, let me just quickly stop for a moment and say hi to Federico. Federico? Federico, Federico yeah. Federico, <laughs> can you hear me? Federico, uh, I, think, I think your microphone is muted, so you need to unmute yourself because if you're talking, we can't hear you. So, Federico, say hi. 
Okay. Let me just let me just let me just quickly let me just just give me one minute, guys. I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna show Federico how to. Uh... Mute. Okay. Yeah. How to unmute himself. Okay. All right. I think he's gone. <laughs> he's no longer there. All right. So, well, where do you see this word? What's a, what? Where do you see this word usually? Fundamental. Okay. You see it a lot when you talk about uh, science. For example, a fundamental law. Okay. Like a fundamental law of all all living organisms or something. Okay. Mm -hmm. I saw this word a lot because I study uh, I studied science. Okay, so it's something that is the base, something that is the very base or core. Okay, so the overall results show two basic problems. So you can say instead of fundamental problems, two basic problems. It's easier to boost scores. Olga, what does that mean? To boost? Um, I'm not sure, but it's like uh, increase or stimulate. Exactly. It means to increase. Okay? okay. It's easier to increase the scores in math than it is in reading. And the test scores of older students have not increased. Okay? So for a lot of students, the, the reason uh, that, the, uh, that the student population has stagnated is because they are not increasing their scores in reading. They are only getting better at math, not in English. And the test scores of older students are the same. So what the students were in 1970, they have not increased from that. So it is only the younger students whose score, test scores are getting better. And they're only getting better in math, not in reading. Okay? So this is telling you the state of education in the United States. Okay? Let me try to communicate with Federico once again. Federico, can you hear me? Yes, and you? Hi, how are you? Fine, and you? I am good how too. Are you doing? I'm good too. Where are you from, Federico? I am from Argentina. You're from Argentina. Welcome. We are in Thanks. a in a reading class right now and we are reading about the the state of education in the US, okay? Okay. So, okay. do you have the article? Yeah. Do you have the article? Do you have the link with you? It's right there. Uh, excuse me. So if you go to Verbling Chat, I've posted the link to the article. So just click on that, and uh, that's what we are using. Do you have this link with you that I'm showing? Link. Yes. Uh, yes. I, I I have not the link, but I am finding. Okay, it's right here. Here. Let me let me give it to you. Okay. So it's right there. Can you see it? <laughs> okay, let me. Oh, I got it. You got it? Okay, perfect. Yeah. I was going to show you. Okay, so yeah, just open that. That's what we are reading. Okay? Okay. Okay, so you guys get it so far what these words mean? So the, the two reasons, so the, the overall results show two basic problems. So you guys can, you guys can uh, uh, substitute the words out. Fundamental can also be basic. Okay? It's easier to increase scores in math, to boost, to increase. Okay? Let's get... Okay. So, Federico, do you want to read a little, a little bit? Sorry, but it doesn't work. I, I, can, I, can, open it, the, I can open the link. Uh, okay, everybody, it worked for you guys, right? Yeah, it took a while. Okay. It might take a while, Federico, but it should open. Okay, why don't you try... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, it is opening, but I, I think that uh, it takes a few minutes. Okay. John, you still there? John? Okay, I think John went somewhere. Okay, so let's get Olga, let's get you to read this next paragraph again. Okay? Yes. Go ahead. Um, the report or report? Yeah, the report. Okay, the report released Thursday by the National Center for Education. Uh, statistics? statistics? Yeah, statistics, yeah. Statistics. The U.S. Education Department's research arm includes results on a test now that is the long-term trends version of the National Assessment for Educational Programs. Educational Programs. Progress, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. NAEP is now as a gold standard of assessment because it samples students from across the country in a secure test that does not impact teacher evaluations or student promotions. The long-term exams, called the trends in academic programs, differ from the other. Progress. 
progress. Pro progress. Mm -hmm. Uh, differ from the other better known uh, NAEP tests because they have tested the student at age 9, 13, nine ages. At, ages. at ages 9, nine, uh, eight, uh, nine 13, and 17 on the same material since the 1970s. Perfect. Are you guys, did you guys understand what this paragraph said? The, why is the NAEP test, why is it better than all other tests? It's in the last. It's in the last sentence. Okay, what does that mean? So this is a test, and they have tested students at ages nine, thirteen, and seventeen on the same material since nineteen seventies. What does that mean? That the test is. What's the word? National assessment of educational. Mm -hmm. It is cons consistent. Does everybody know what that word means? Consistent? You guys know what that means? Adriana, what is consistent? You're muted. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. Consistent is like uh, solid, right? Stop. Yeah, like the same. It's the same. the same. Exactly. So this test uh, the na that they have that they have given students this is the gold standard. What is gold standard? What does that mean? It's like the, the best of the best. Yes, that's exactly what it means. So the gold standard, the highest standard. Okay, highest standard. For example, the, for example, Apple is the gold standard in beautiful computers. <laughs> for gold example. Standard. Gold standard means the highest standard, okay? Like, that's the best of the best. So this test is the best of the best assessment. Assessment is another a test, okay? Another way of saying assessment is test, okay? Uh, and it's the best of the best because it takes, it takes samples from students from all over the country in a secure. What's another word for secure? What's another, what's another word for secure? Who knows? Mm, like immune protected. Uh, yeah, safe. 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 Safe, exactly. So because it, it's a test that, uh, that takes students, it's a safe test, and it does not impact, all right? It does not affect, it does not impact teacher evaluations. What's an evaluation? Evaluation. Not test. To test, exactly. When you evaluate your teacher, you give them a grade, okay? So teachers, at the end of the semester, teachers evaluate their students. So they, so they, they reconsider the grade. They're like, what is the student's level, okay? Like your evaluation can be an A or a B or a C or a 90% or an 80%, okay? So that's what, so this test is the gold standard because it's consistent. People, they have been giving the same test since the 1970s, all right? So it's testing the same material, okay? So let's see what their test resul results come out to be. Jong, can I yeah. get you to read uh, this next, the next part? The report relies. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the report relies on NAEP data from the 2011 to 2012 school year and test, tested uh, 26,000 students in public and pri private school. Students are measured on a three, 350-point scale, according to the report. Perfect. What does it mean to rely? How would you say to rely in another way? Uh, Olga. Uh, um, I don't know. It starts with a D. The word starts with a D. Depend. 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 Okay. So the report relies, depends. Okay. It uh, it bases itself. Okay. So the report, the basis of the report is NAEP data from 2011 to 2012, and they tested 26,000 students. 
okay? Students are measured on a 350 point scale, okay? So 350 is like the highest point you can get. Everything, everything is below that, right? It's like how you would test the IELTS or the TOEFL, okay? Anybody know what the IELTS uh, point scale is? How much is the IELTS out of? No, I don't know. No? What about no. TOEFL? What about TOEFL? Like, I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah. I really TOEFL remember. is 120. Yeah. So the TOEFL is a 120 point scale. 120 is the highest is the highest point you can get. Okay. Perfect. Uh, Jung, can you continue reading? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, average nine years old score increase. Nine nine year olds. Nine year old. Olds. Scoring. Olds. There's old. an S at the yes. Old score increased from two hundred eight to two hundred twenty one, or thirteen point on the leading exam between uh, nineteen seventy nine and seventy one. Uh, seventy one and two. 2011 to 2012, with the score of 221 students who are expected to make, a inference, make an inference. Make an inference based on explicit. Ex explicit. Explicit. On explicit. On mm -hmm. explicit information. Information in biographical sketch, but. Likely come to things like find similar, similar similarity between two ca character or identify a parag paragraph paragraphs main, paragraphs paragraph, paragraph main topic to report say perfect years. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. We'll, we'll read on. Okay. So, what did you guys understand from this? What we have just read. What did you understand? Tell me in your own words what you understood. Olga. Uh, um, I don't know. Okay, Adriana, do you have a guess? Um, no. <laughs> okay, so they're saying that uh, between 1971 and right now, the nine-year-old students, their scores increased 13 points. So their scores went up on reading, okay? And they're saying that at a score of 221, with this score, this is what students can do. They, this is what students are expected to do. Make an inference. What is an inference? An inference. Uh, Sorry, Olga? That you can understand someone without all the information about that? Exactly. An educated guess or opinion. Educated. For example, we make an inference when we read poems. Okay. All right? When you read a poem in English, does the author say directly what he or she means or thinks? No. No? Does the author ever say, I am feeling sad and this is why I am feeling sad? Okay? No. no one, they don't say that, right? They write things in a poetic way and when we read the poem, we are supposed to understand what they are saying. That is an inference. Okay, an inference is understanding the meaning without having it being told to you. Okay, for example, when your mother says something mean, she's not going to say I am being mean, but you infer that she's being mean. Okay, when your friend says something mean, an inference is what you understand from what is being said or written. Okay, so with a score of 221, Students are expected to make an inference based on explicit. What is explicit? What's another word for explicit? Some that is clear? Yeah, something that is specific and clear. Specific. Okay, for example, your mother says, I explicitly told you not to buy carrots. Okay? So she means that I was very clear. I was very specific in what I was saying, okay? I explicitly told you not to buy me a red shirt, okay? So I specifically told you I was very clear on what I was saying, okay? So with a score of 2001, 
students are expected to make an inference based on specific information in a biographical sketch. What is biographical? So what's a biography? What's a biography? For example, if you if you read President Obama's biography, what does that mean? Like the story of his life, like exactly, like exactly. A biography is a novel or a piece of writing on someone's life. Okay, it, you can read. There are lots of books on the biography of uh, Steve Jobs. Okay, you can read like hundreds of books on his life. That's a biography. A biographical sketch is a piece of writing that is about someone's life. Okay, usually biographies are for like rich, uh, like rich or famous people. Their biographies. Now, what is an autobiography? An autobiography. Olga, do you know what an autobiography is? No. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Um. Uh, a story uh, tell for uh, I'm I don't know for it itself. Yes, an autobiography is your own biography. Okay, yeah. for example, Olga, if you decide I want to write about my life, I want to write a book about my life and have it published, then it would be an autobiography. Okay, people would say this book is an autobiography of Olga. It's what it's. Her life that she wrote herself. Okay, if you write about your own life, that's an autobiography. If somebody else writes about your life, that is just a biography. Okay, a biography is what people write of other people. Autobiography is what you write about yourself. Okay, so if Steve Jobs wrote a book about himself, what would that be? An autobiography. Okay, if Adriana, if you wrote a book about Steve Jobs, what would that be? A biography. Exactly. Okay. So a biographical sketch is a is a piece of writing that is about someone's life. Okay. So they're saying that with a score of two hundred twenty one, this is what students should be able to do to understand what is being said on a biographical sketch, but they cannot do things like find similarities. What is similarity? Similarity. Like, um, okay. Common things. Uh, yeah, I the think. same things that are the same. That. For example, what is the similarity between Adriana and Olga? What are what's one similarity between you guys? We're from Latin America. Exactly, you guys are both Spanish speaking. Okay, yes. that's a similarity. Okay, so. They cannot do things like find similarities between two characters or identify the paragraph's main topic. Okay, so students are unable to do this, but they are expected to make uh, an educated guess. Right. So these numbers are telling you what students' levels should be at based on the level of education that they have. Okay, is that clear? Do you guys understand what it means now? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Adriana, can I get you to continue reading? Uh, so thirteen year olds, right here. Thirteen year olds scores increased by eight points from two thousand fifty-five to two hundred. Two hundred. Two thousand. Okay. What am I thinking? That's it. That's okay. <laughs> to two hundred sixty-three, a level which means they cannot support an opinion about uh, a story using details. Seventeen year olds only grew. Two points over that that period, scoring uh, two two hundred eighty eighty seven a level a level at which they can use understanding of a poem to recognize the poem's uh, speakers, but not explain key parts of the poem's topic. Perfect. Now, Adriana, what does this mean? So, based on what I explained to you earlier, what are students expected to do at the level at this level? Uh, to to make to make uh, an opinion like, to have to have like, an opinion to have an opinion but like mm -hmm. using details right yeah so to they're expected to have an opinion um uh, so this this I'm gonna you know, I'm gonna write this you have an opinion we don't make opinions for example Adriana 
Do you have an opinion about the protests in Brazil? Not really. <laughs> not really? Okay. So you would say, I do not have an opinion. Okay? So opinion is not something you make. It's something that you have. All right? So uh, at a score of 263, uh, the students cannot support, they cannot have an opinion about a story using details. Okay? So they lack the ability. They don't have the ability to do that. So 17-year-olds grew two points over that period. So you can see that the older students have not been growing that much in their education. It's the younger students that are getting better. Okay? Uh, mm -hmm. and, at, and, at, and at a level, at the level that they are now, they can use understanding of a poem to recognize the poem speaker. So they can, they can, they can guess who the poem speaker is, but they cannot explain what the poem is about. Okay? So they do, do not have the necessary skills to do certain things. All right? Do you guys understand? You're understanding what that means? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. And any questions, John? Do you have any questions? Are you okay? You're muted. <laughs> we can't hear you. Okay. Olga, let's get you to read the next one. So what's going on in math? Okay. Um, in math, I'm mean, pardon. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. In math, nine years old increased their scores from 219 to to, uh, 244 or 20 point, 25 points between 1973 and 2011-2012. 13 years old showed an increase from 266 mm -hmm. to 285 or 19 points. 70 years old grew two points okay. over Sorry, I was going to say, this is 17 year olds. You guys, you guys are saying 17 years? There's no S at the end of year. There's an S at the end of old. So it's 17 year olds. Okay. Go ahead. 17 year olds grew two points over that time and actually scored two points below the, their average, average mm -hmm. of uh, 308 in 1999. Perfect. So what is this paragraph saying? What's going on in math scores? What's happening in math scores? That the, the average is better? No? It's better for who? For which age group? It's better in the group of nine years old. Nine that year old. In nine year olds. with the 13 mm -hmm. year old. Yes, Good. and exactly. Perfect. That, that, you understood that. That's perfect. So nine-year-olds, the younger students, are getting better at math, whereas the older students are actually decreasing. So their score is two points below what their average was uh, 15 years ago. Okay? So this is, this is basically what this entire paragraph is saying. How has the education demographic changed in the United States? The younger students are getting better but the older students are not getting better they are staying the same or in some cases they are actually decreasing their their education their value is actually going down because they are not at the level they're supposed to be okay all right um john can i get you to read this next paragraph please uh, okay it shows that high school doesn't Doing a great job. High schools. High schools aren't. Uh, high school aren't doing a great job. Said Marcus Schneider. Uh, Schneider. 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 Mm -hmm. The former NCES commis com commissioner who now works as a vice presi uh, pre president at the Aca uh, American Institute for Research. Who are lying about the quality of the education they are giving? They call free algebra, mm -hmm. algebra, algebra, uh, free algebra, algebra. They call algebra cal cal calculus. They calculus. are calculus. They are giving high, higher grade in teaching what you down, what you down. 
curricula, 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 because we've told them to get better. Perfect. All right. So what does this mean? What's going on, Olga? What did you understand? That the quality in an education uh, in United States is bad in the <laughs> higher uh, grades. In oh. higher education, in higher in education. Higher education. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Um. And uh, and that it's necessary to I don't know do a better job. Yeah, but why is it bad? What what does it say? Why is the education level bad? Adriana, what do you think? Why do you think uh, the education level is bad? Uh, because uh, they are giving like higher grades. Mm -hmm. Higher grades for what? To, they are giving higher grades in teaching watered down curricula. What does that mean? Watered down. I, I don't know. Okay. Okay. If you guys ever go out in the evening with your friends, okay, and you go to a bar and you have a drink, okay, you drink and you go like, this drink is so watered down. I ordered uh, a vodka. But there is no vodka in here. This is all water. Okay? Do you understand what that means? Watered down. So not the real thing. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you say, oh, this drink has this much vodka in it. But in actuality, it only has this much. The rest is all water. Okay? So what do you think a watered down curricula? Curricula is what you teach in school, like your curriculum. All right? For example, this semester, um, uh, Shakespeare is in the curriculum so it is part of what you are teaching it is part of your course okay um, so if you have watered down curriculum what does that mean like you're, I don't know like you're not teaching uh, like the whole program perfect so in a watered down curriculum you say oh in this math class we are going to teach you algebra we're going to teach you this much algebra but in real life, you only learn this much, okay? Mm. So they're saying that what's happening in the United States is that uh, teachers are giving students higher grades for the course that is watered down, okay? So they're saying, oh, this course is supposed to be this hard, but really it's this hard, and they're giving you higher grades for an easier course. Do you guys understand how this can create a problem in, yeah. in schools? Yeah. Yes. That, yeah. So it's like, oh, we have, we have taught you all of this. You learned all this in high school. And then you go to university and it's like, oh, I never learned any of this in high school. It's an expectation that you will learn it, but no one taught it to you because your curriculum was watered down. It was not the entirety of what you were supposed to learn. Okay? Let us quickly say hi to Mine, who is actually in the U.S. right now. Hi, Mine. Hello. Are you done? Are you done the gym? <laughs> no, I am done the study. <laughs> ah, well, welcome, Minnie. We are. Have you been following the class? No, I haven't. We are reading about the the what the education uh, system is like in the U.S. right now. So how is how how is it improving or uh, is it improving or not? Okay. I, Do you okay. have the article with you? I just opened the article. Okay. So, um, so Adriana, you used to take private math classes. How, yes. How, oh. Was math really hard? Oh my God! It was like <laughs> I used to go every day, every day for two years. Wow! Didn't get better. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened. John, what about you? Did Did you ever take private math classes? No. No. No, I've heard I've heard that math is is really difficult in uh, in Korea. Is it? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I've heard that a lot of students uh, tell I'll me that math. Mm -hmm. Right, that's right. So you do not have a watered down curriculum, okay? Yeah. So Korea yeah. does not have a watered down curriculum in math. In the mm -hmm. U.S., that's what they're saying. Math is supposed to be difficult, but it's very easy for students because it's mm -hmm. watered down. They're not learning what they are supposed to. Okay? Mm -hmm. Olga, yeah. what do you think about math? I think that, uh, for example, in some schools, mm -hmm. it's possible that the teacher uh, 
uh, teach all the, the topics, but um, worried for tried to, to uh, teach all the topics. Uh, try these these topics superficially. Mm -hmm. Can you understand me? Superficially. Um, that's a very good word. Yes, superficially. Mm -hmm. Yes, and um, only uh, um, talk about uh, relevant uh, uh, relevant cases of our or of, sorry of or of each uh, mother. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I think that the problem is for time in in many times. Yeah, that's a really good, I, I really appreciate what you said, superficial, okay? So if you go to, if you attend an English class, okay, and the teacher goes like, we're going to learn Shakespeare in class, okay? So you start reading, and then Shakespeare is very difficult, okay? So if your teacher never explains to you anything about what was in the book, it's like, oh, okay, we read an entire book by Shakespeare, but no one knows what it means, okay? That is a superficial education, okay? If you read an entire novel and you have no idea what the novel was about, that is superficial. Not something that doesn't have a basis, okay? That's, that's a problem with a lot of people. They read, but they don't understand, okay? So it was superficial. It had no basis, okay? You guys understand? So superficial would be another way of saying watered down. Okay, that that was a really good word. Thank you so much for your for your input, Olga. Okay, so Mine, have you have you found the document? So we are we are over here. So we are on this at, at the bottom of the second page, the last okay. paragraph. Daria Hall, can you read that for us? Okay, I have to find Daria. <laughs> so okay, I found yeah. it. Perfect. Yes. Go ahead. Daria Hall, who direct uh, K-12 at the Washington D.C. based education lobbying and um, advocacy group to the education advocacy, advocacy. advocacy mm -hmm. group to education trust agrees high school level material is complete complicated and really requires deep subject knowledge on the part of the teachers she said having teachers who don't know their subject knowledge the that doesn't work. She described the notion of achieving education is inoculation, mm -hmm. where younger students who are taught to read are pers perceived as good to go, but perceived. we are perceived, perceived mm -hmm. as good to go, but we are falling off after that. Perfect. All right. So they're saying that. Uh, some high school material is very difficult, it's very complicated, and the teachers need to know what they are teaching, okay? She describes the notion. What is notion? Okay, what's another word for notion? Idea. Idea. Exactly, okay? She describes that the notion of achieving, of gaining, of having education is inoculation, okay? Inoculation is the is reproduction or growth. Okay, so when she says that teachers think that students are going to grow innocuously, that means this. Okay, when you were seven years old, you know how you knew how to read. Okay, your level of reading was very good. That's it. I don't need to worry about your reading ever again because you were good when you knew because you knew how to read at seven, your level of reading will be amazing throughout your life. It will just reproduce itself. So basically, you will grow without having to be taught. Is that how education works? Is that what you guys think? No. How, does, how does education work? How do people grow? They need to practice. Exactly. Like so there's, us. <laughs> exactly. Perfect. <laughs> So just because you learned English when you were 10 years old, does that mean that you will be fluent in English at 30? No. No. What do you need to do? You need to constantly practice. You need to learn, right? So what this paragraph is saying is that teachers think, they perceive. Perceive. They think. Okay, to perceive is to think that...
that education is innocuous. Just because they taught you how to read when you were five, you will automatically know how to read really good when you are 10 or 15. They are not putting in the effort that you need to do, that you need to put in for students to grow. So you guys understand what the problem is with education? That the yes. teachers, that the teachers, they are not putting in the effort they need to for students to continue growing. They're saying, okay, I have taught you and my job is done. The rest is all up to you. You will grow automatically. But that's not what happens. You have to continuously teach students. You have to continuously challenge them. Okay? Um, you you yeah. can say, like, take for granted. The teachers take for granted. Exactly. The teachers have taken the students' level of education for granted. They're thinking, oh, you are good when you are 13, so you'll be fine when you're 18 as well. I don't need to worry. That's taking for granted. Very good. Perfect. We have somebody, Puenon de Con, <laughs> who just joined us at the end of class. I'm sorry you didn't have an opportunity to say hi, but this is the end of the class. And uh, what did you?